Holy shit, that's cold. Alright. What is up, everybody? You know what it is. You know what it is. You know what time it is. You know what we're doing. <laughs> Holy shit. <coughs> Alright. As I, as I try not to die, uh, we have two boxes to uh, do an unboxing video of here. So, pretty exciting. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> um... Some big changes coming in the collection. I will be doing another video after this one. Uh, but today is just a unboxing video. I've got two things in, so we're going to check them out. Uh, this one not quite as exciting as this one, of course. Size comparison. Um, but we'll get into it. So, as you see, I already got the box, uh, the tape open. I have not opened either of these. I've just cut the tape to save some time. And uh, we'll see what's in here. Alright, well, <laughs> it's there. There it is. Newer raised letter bell. But what kind of bell? Pull it out here. It's wrapped up tight. Alright. Get this out of the way. Set it right there. All right. <coughs> we have a new raised letter 3A. Uh, it's a little dirty, but, um, brand new raised litter 3a I uh, got this uh, for a specific project so we'll clean it up and uh, go from there so that's pretty much, pretty much it for that box guys yeah, not too uh, you know, nothing too crazy just a just a nice newer raised litter 3a clean it up ready to rock and roll so uh, the project that this is going on uh, hopefully is a success. So you guys will learn more about that in another video. So we'll set that aside and we'll get to the big box here. <laughs> this is the exciting one. We'll see if I can get this particular thing in here unboxed. Or unpackaged here quickly. Oh. oh, don't know if you guys can really tell the fucking color is shitty on this right now. Uh, we'll pull it out. We'll just pull it out, and you guys can enjoy the color. Oh boy, making a mess. Just gonna dump all that off to the side. So it is a part, some assembly required, oh, I hate packing peanuts. There's another bell, you can kind of start seeing the color, it's not the greatest lighting in its current position. But that's okay, we will get it out here. Oh my lord. Alright, under some light and we see nice green paint. And a large inlet. Number one bill. Uh, that's not moisture, it's just, uh, the, there's like a coating or something on there that's flaking off. Let's see if I can wash that off. Uh, big bubble, narrow font. So, we already know it's 90s. Oh, 
that pack of peanuts. Try to get everything out of here. Oh god, sorry guys. <laughs> I rotated the camera, I'm sorry. It's not easy doing this one-handed. And there's the manifold. K3... K3HA. 90s K3HA. Pretty sweet. We will, uh, ooh, geez, that bolt's kind of jammed into position there. I want to take care of that. I think that's it. This is all packing. So I'll just deal with that mess later. All right. Here we go, guys. So, what I purchased here. I actually did a uh, purchase and a trade. A uh, real good friend of mine traded him a couple bells that he was needing, uh, plus a little cash. Made an awesome deal with him on this. 90s. Uh, it, it is square tag. Let me get the manifold up right here. Square tag. Uh, the paint is thick. She's thick, but I think I can make it out. She's a thick one, but damn boy, she thick. All right. She a thick ass boy, boy. I don't know if I can get good light on that. Looks like 14, 14 something one one. Um, I don't know if I can maybe rub that. Rub that off and maybe see, you know, the paint's, the paint is very thick, but it is 14K. So, that's good enough, at least I can gauge the date. So 14K is pretty good. Um, a little bit, kind of getting a little later into the square tags, but still pretty good. Uh, all original, you guys can see the nice shiny green, it's so pretty. Uh, this is a, uh... A executive Mac S or geez, yeah, SD uh, SD seventy Mac horn. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to see if I can. This bolt is kind of at a goofy angle here, so I'm gonna see if I can get that uh, not at such an extreme angle or if it maybe it's not I think that I think that is actually drilled at a precarious angle there so but yeah guys I'm pretty stoked about this so as many of you know and you can always go back and check my older videos I had one of these horns I had a executive Mac K3HA, and I ended up selling it last summer. I was not thrilled to sell it, but I did need the money at the time for some other projects. So, I had to make the sacrifice, and I missed it dearly. And, uh, was, you know, pretty upset when, when I, I had to wind up selling it. Sorry, cleaning the camera here. And, so... For a while, I've been trying to, f you know, find something decent to fill the, that particular hole in the collection, and ended up, uh, my buddy just so happened to get a hold of me and tell me that he had this available, so I was like, you know what, let's make this work. So I was pretty excited about that, and uh, I don't have a sound clip right now, but my my friends sent me a sound clip, and this horn is like beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't think it's paint sealed, so I think it has been opened. It's kind of hard to tell on camera. I, 
I think it's been open. Oh, actually, I can tell from the bolts. Yeah. Yeah, she's been opened. Which, not a big deal. Um, I did plan on cleaning it anyway. Because it is slightly... It's not dirty, but there's stuff that can be washed off. And... I don't know, it's... It's kind of weird that the clear coat got really really matted and the, these spots are where the clear coat is actually peeled off from the paint so the paint is like super shiny under the clear coat or and uh i don't know i don't think i'll be able to get that off but either way super nice horn really excited to have an executive mac k3 ha uh, back in the collection again uh really stoked about that uh, I've been missing my old one now. My old one uh, was kind of an odd horn. It was a uh, 21k round tag, so a fairly early round tag, and it had uh, basically two different paints on it. Um, it had this this shade of darker green on it, and. Uh, the locomotive had a fire at some point and was repainted, so it had like another shade of green over it. Uh, so that was kind of a unique thing. Uh, but that was the earliest round tag horn that I had. So it was kind of cool, but sold it, missed it. So now we're redeeming with a uh, kick-ass square tag 90s one, so... Sorry the camera's jumping around there, guys. I don't know. Why am I? My phone's getting old. My phone's getting old and I'm getting old, so... Figure it out. But yeah, guys, so that's the... Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna take it apart, clean it up. Check everything out. Make sure everything's in good working order. Uh, the sound clips that I have heard of this horn is... It, it's, it's a killer. I mean, it sounds spot-on perfect. So, um, no fouling at all. It's a beautiful sounding horn, so... Shouldn't be having to deal with any damage or anything on it, so. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Just a little unboxing. Got a nice new, super exciting addition to the, to the uh, collection. And then a uh, something nice to kind of, um, for, for a future project coming up soon, so. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the video. Um, if you guys want to know anything else on this horn, hit me up in the comments. And until next time, take care.